this is my first real video. It's not my first video, but my first real long form video that I am filming um, with thought behind. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So welcome to my channel. If you're new here, which almost everybody is, because I'm new here, my name is Kristen. So thank you for joining me. This is a really informal video. I kind of want to talk about a couple of things. I want to introduce myself, introduce my channel, and kind of let you know what it's going to be about. And then I want to talk about something that I'm doing this year that I've never done in years past, nor have I really ever been a firm believer of it. So this is my dog. She wants to know why I'm talking to the camera. Um, and that is really manifesting what my goals, ambitions, my dreams are, and really just using positive thinking and manifesting that they're actually going to happen, even if they're, you know, outrageously big and seem impossible. I'm really focusing on harnessing some positive energy and really kind of speaking it into the world and making it happen. So let's get into that. Um, first of all, I am 34 years old. I have been married for, it will be 10 years this year, but we've been together a lot longer than that. We have two sons together. Um, one is going to be 11 this year and the other is going to be two this year. So quite a bit of an age gap, but it's a unique perspective on parenting to kind of raise these kids in two completely different times, really. Um, so, you know, some of my videos will be about parenting, but a lot of them will be focused on, you know, what you guys as the viewer want to see. I have some shorts out there already. Um, I'm really working on focusing my shorts on being funny and relatable. Woo! I've always felt like I have like a lot of good like zingers and jokes inside of me, but nobody appreciates them. And so I wanted to find a creative way to share those with the world. And the few that I've posted already are doing really well. So I'm super glad to see you guys appreciate it. And I have a lot of really exciting ideas coming for you in 2023. Um, as far as my long form videos, a lot of them, you know, won't just be me sitting here dressed like Adam Sandler talking to you. Um, some of them maybe, but I really want to, you know, kind of focus on get readies with get ready with me. I love makeup. I love beauty um, videos, but you know, in a way that is realistic for myself, right? So I suffer with acne. I have terrible texture in my skin. Um, you know, I like need to get healthy. I need to lose weight. I need to get strong. I, my roots are showing half the time because I dye my hair myself at home. I'm not like a professional makeup artist, but I love to do makeup. I love skincare. I love to chit chat and talk about things that is on our minds as women, as men. I hope I have some men viewers as mothers, you know, whatever the case may be, um, you know, I want to get into it. I want to talk about it, but I want to do it in a way that works for me. That's relatable to a lot of people. Now I've tried to do this in the past with great failure, I might add, but I think that the reason for that is because I've tried to do it in a way that matches the vibes of the videos that I love, which I'm sure you're probably wondering, well, Duh, you know, you should want to do that. But the problem with that is I'm not an aesthetically pleasing person. If I were to flip the camera around right now, you would see peanut butter crackers smashed into the floor, a half eaten crayon that my toddler took a bite out of, diapers everywhere because he got into the basket and threw them, toys everywhere, furniture that doesn't match, um, home decor that I probably got from the dollar store. It's just, 
a lot of my clothes are 10 years old. A lot of my makeup comes from the drugstore unless it's a gift. So for me to try to make the aesthetic videos that I love is basically a falsehood. And I don't want to portray some kind of falsehood, fallacy, something that's not real to my viewers. Now, this channel may never get more than 10 subscribers, but what I'm really trying to accomplish is something for myself. And a lot of people out there who have kids can probably relate to that feeling of losing yourself, you know, losing a hobby, losing free time, losing a creative outlet. And so I'm just really kind of saying, I have stuff to say, I want to do these things. So let's do them. So using that as a segue, I want to get into 2023 and how I'm really trying to train my mind set to gear my thinking more in a positive manner than a negative one and really try to speak these, um, you know, manifestations into the universe and then have them come true. You know, wouldn't it just be so great if it was that easy? But the reality is for myself in particular, a lot of my talk, self-talk, self-love, self-care, in the past couple of years has been negative. And I think that a lot of people can identify with, you know, going through a pandemic. A lot of us put on more pounds than we wanted to. I also was pregnant during that time and, you know, really kind of lost myself, my physical form, my mental form. Um, before I got pregnant, I was, I don't want to say like skinny because I don't like that, but I was strong strong is a good way to put it strong and healthy and felt good about myself and just felt you know really well all the way around physically mentally and i've always been you know there's always been this that or the other that goes through my mind as to why i cannot get back on track to becoming strong um you know and just getting back to the way that i want to be so I've kind of said enough is enough. You know, I'm not going to look in the mirror and be like, you need to lose 50 pounds. I'm not going to look at the food I'm eating and say, you know, here comes another 10 pounds. I really want to retrain my brain to take those negative thoughts and turn them into something positive. I want to look at my food and have a great relationship with it. I want to look at exercising as something that I'm doing for me that's going to be beneficial and it's going to make a difference, you know, all the way around. I want to look at my YouTube as a way to express my creativity and to connect with people, spread a message, have a good laugh and have a good time. So my first manifestation, my first goal for 2023 is to get healthy. I don't exactly know what that means for me other than saying I want to be strong mentally and physically. I want to, you know, eat good foods, but I also want to have a chocolate chip cookie when I want to have a chocolate chip cookie. I want to really work on taking care of the things I need to like my adult acne. I've had acne my entire life due to hormonal issues. And I also want to, you know, kind of mess around with using food to kind of redirect the course of those hormonal issues. I want to take care of my skin. I want to take care of my body because I want to be around for my kids and for my husband as long as I can. And I can't do that if, you know, I don't take care of myself. So that would be goal number one. Goal number two, which really is a manifestation, is I want to take this YouTube channel and I would love to see by the end of the year 10,000 subscribers. And a lot of you may have just been like, what? You know, like that's crazy. And maybe it is crazy. But the theme of this year is there's no such thing as crazy. Okay, so we're going to 
speak it into the world that we're gonna get really creative on here we're gonna have a ton of fun and we're gonna have 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year having fun with us another goal and manifestation I have is I started a podcast and it's called anxious about everything and the title is a tad bit misleading because it's not just me sitting there ranting about how I'm an anxious mess, but it's more of a plan words that represents a podcast where we actually have a laugh about how we're anxious about everything. And a good example would be taking an everyday task that you perform or you have to, you know, follow through with that makes you anxious. Um, like for me, an example I always use is if I'm driving on the interstate with which driving makes me anxious enough as it is. If I'm driving on the interstate and I know that my exit is five miles up and I need to be in the right hand lane. If I'm not in the right hand lane, at least 10 miles back, I'm panicking. And you know, a lot of people are not like that. So that's just something silly. I do often that, you know, causes me anxiety, but I love to make fun of it. My husband makes fun of me for it. Um, you know, everybody who knows about it kind of laughs. And sometimes my husband will mess with me on purpose and wait until the very last second to get over, even though I just want to him for it. <laughs> but my goal for my podcast, which is, you know, a challenge to grow a podcast in a saturated podcast world, but instead of looking at it that way, my goal, my manifestation for my podcast is by the end of the year, I want to have a thousand listeners weekly. Right now, it's been, it's been live for about a week and I have 10 listeners total and I think five of those are me because I listen to it in my car to make sure it sounds good. But that's okay because it's a week old and it's a learning process and I have zero, zero marketing training. That's not true. I have some from college, but I didn't have a marketing major, but I definitely have zero training when it comes to audio editing, audio equipment, um, you know, everything I really needed to do to put this in the universe. But guess what? I figured it out strongly with the help of YouTube but it feels good to know that I'm using these skills that I never had before. I edit my content myself with zero training, zero prior knowledge on how to do it. And I like how it turns out. There's definitely room to improve. There's definitely room to grow, but as everything should be, it's going to be an evolution. And hopefully a year from now, I'm going to look back at this first original content and the content that I have at that point in time and be like, wow, look how far we've come. This is awesome. And then my last manifestation is actually a long-term one. It goes well beyond 2023 because it is a little bit more far-fetched than a standard manifestation, but nevertheless, it's one that I've always had. And that is that I would more than anything in the world, I would love to someday write a book. I have written books before, but they're just in the safety of the hard drive of my computer. I have, while I'm nobody famous or nobody, you know, of particular influence, I have a lot to say regarding experiences I had growing up, experience, experiences that I had through college, um, good but also bad, that are extremely interesting, I think. And I want to talk about, I want to talk about those things because I think that there is a lot of aesthetically pleasing content out there, a lot of what you want to see content out there, which is great, but there's also a lot of people out there who have gone through similar things that I have gone through in my life. And, um, you know, maybe they want to hear somebody else speak that into the world. Maybe they want to read what I have to say about what the things that happened to me and how I turned them around because I mean, quite frankly, 
Had I not turned around some of these things that had happened to me, I don't even know where I would have ended up. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. I just have a lot to say. And I think I, you know, have a way in my head where I would very, I would be able to very creatively say that. And I think a lot of people would want to hear about it. And that's just my ultimate long-term manifestation is getting a book deal, writing a book, getting out there and meeting people and sharing my work with them and like maybe being on Good Morning America, right? So what's our motto? Nothing is too crazy. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to watch this video of me introducing myself and what my plans are. And I want you to know I'm just a regular person. I live in a town that is so small, so small. We don't even have a grocery store. I don't come from money. We have a roof over our heads and foods, food on our plate and clothes on our back. You know, we have cars that work, so we're very blessed. But I'm not someone who comes from money. Um, you know, I'm just a very relatable middle class person, you know, with no following as of right now, but that's going to change. And, you know, I want you to just see yourself in me in these videos and be like, okay, if she can do this, I can do this. Like if I, if you have something that you want to reach for, that you want to do, even if you feel silly, because let me be clear, it's difficult to sit in front of a camera, hear yourself talk, see yourself on the screen, especially if you are additionally going through some challenges with your body. Um, this is all very difficult. I actually, I cannot stand hearing my voice. I can't stand like seeing my facial expressions. That's something that's really difficult for me. I'm also someone who has always had a very hard time with feelings of embarrassment. So putting out content, especially my funny content, while I'm really proud of my humor and my creativity, it still can be embarrassing. It can be embarrassing to do the things that you really want to do, which is most likely the reason why you've never done it before. The reason why I've never gone this far and trying to achieve these goals is because I'm, you know, worried about people I know seeing it and judging me because they probably will. But at the end of the day, if someone is seeing this that I know and they're judging me, they're likely not a person that I want in my life, right? Strangers are going to judge me, but I know at the end of the day, you know, I'm doing this from scratch, doing this on my phone. You know, I, I have not poured any money into this. I work full time. I have a paying job. You know, I work really hard. And at the end of the day, me knowing these things about myself isn't going to change what somebody else says about me. And I really want you to hear that and take that and run with it. If there's something that you are dying to do, we're going to manifest it right now for 2023 or beyond if you want to write a book like I do. And we are just going to go out there and make it happen. If you've stuck around this long, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And I really hope that you subscribe to my channel so you can come back and see more content. Let me know what kind of content you want to see. That's the thing I really want to hear from you guys. What kind of, you know, relatable content you want to see. And I'll do my best to put it out there. So please make sure to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel so you can keep coming back for more. And let's just have a great 2023.